All right, y'all. So Warner Brothers, HBO, whatever, they're developing a Game of Thrones movie, y'all. We have to talk about this. We have to talk. So this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. You can check the link in my description if you want to read the full article because, you know, I'm going to be skipping around and stuff. So Warner Bros. has been quietly developing at least one film set in George R. R. Martin's epic fantasy universe. Multiple sources describe the project as very early stage development with no filmmaker, cast, or writer yet attached. But the company is keen on exploring the idea of Westeros invading cinemas. The move might represent a shift in the company's strategy regarding the property. The showrunners of the original Game of Thrones series, Dumb and Dumber, famously wanted to conclude the series with three feature films. <laughs> Corny corny give us a final all you had to do girl don't get me started oh my gosh they already get me started i ain't even finished the article yet girl they they about to get me started just mention the name name about to get me so mad girl i can't believe y'all had the nerve just put dnd we don't even need to read their full names out dumb and dumber oh my gosh they wanted to end, oh three movies y'all could have just ended it like a show should be ended that's it and okay fine but like we could get movies that's fine but like we wouldn't even be having to think we wouldn't be having this conversation if y'all just ended the show how the show's supposed to end that's it, in a smart, intelligent way. But whatever, whatever, whatever. That's that's y'all run the risk of really making me mad when y'all bring them up. Anyway, Martin was also keen on the idea of a movie, and the author told the Hollywood Reporter back in 2014 that concepts were being kicked around. But for a long time, HBO strongly resisted the idea and instead wanted to preserve the prestige series as an HBO property. Since the end of the original series, however, there have been countless changes to the company's executive ranks, as well uh, with the film versus TV landscape, including an increased willingness to shift cinematic properties to the small screen and back again. There has been Matt Reeves' box office hit, The Batman. Um, they're talking about The Penguin. And then, of course, Dune Prophecy, which I have been talking about trying to review, y'all. So make sure, like... Just let me know. Uh, that's why I, I love Patreon. Like, that's why y'all need to sign on up. Because they, they already told me that they want to do uh, Dune Prophecy. The patrons told me. So, just prepare your wigs. I'm going to see how it goes. Because, like I said, y'all ain't watching it. I can't be slaving and making this stuff y'all ain't watching. <laughs> so, we going to see if y'all watch it. But I'm, I'm going to um kick off with Dune Prophecy here pretty soon. And review it. Get into it. Hopefully, it's good enough. For us to like kiki and cackle. You know how we do over here. It's going to be fun. Um, okay. So they talk about doing prophecy. Um, also, HBO is prepping a new take on Harry Potter. Also, um, what else? They They're talking about uh, rings of power. So the article is just saying that, hey, TV and film is in a time now where they're just like, they, they don't mind putting something that was a movie on TV or vice versa. Like they just spinoffs, all that stuff. Like there's so they're saying that HBO kind of wants to capitalize on that. In 2022, HBO launched the hit prequel House of the Dragon. Uh, we already know that A Night of the Seven Kingdoms is coming. Y'all ain't y'all ain't making no noise for that. <laughs> ain't no if it ain't no dragons, the girls ain't the girls are sitting down. Are y'all making noise for this? A Night of the Seven Kingdoms? I'm like really cackling. I think they're saying here that hey. Um, there is a tantalizing, unexplored territory here uh, up for grabs. Basically, any storyline or storylines set after the original series since, you know, we're getting all these prequel stuff. They're saying that maybe, maybe the movie might tackle uh, storylines after the original series. Either way, uh, Thrones content has occasionally appeared in theaters before, with HBO having previously given major episodes of the original series limited screenings around the country to help promote the show so here's what i think let's get into it girl because y'all already know i'm about to start ranting like oh my gosh i'm about to start y'all absolutely do not need to give us nothing that is coming after the uh, the um finale of season eight like i'm so sorry if if daenerys ain't being resurrected and even then i don't think y'all should even be allowed to say her name y'all should be allowed to touch her so if daenerys ain't coming back and like i said even then it, that's on shaky ground because y'all had Daenerys and y'all ruined her. So if Daenerys ain't coming back, like, in, in a way that makes sense, in a way that's not going, I guess, ruin her character again, uh, if y'all ain't, if y'all are not giving Amelia Clark a fat check, 
y'all can keep this because honestly, it will be almost the same as the the Jon Snow series that y'all trying to do, unless y'all got Arya and all this stuff. But even then, like y'all left such a bad taste in my mouth that that stuff, like it would have to be so perfect. It would have to be a 10 out of 10. It would have to be a 100% rating. Do you hear what I'm saying? Flawless. It would have to be for us to even make excuse, make an excuse as to, you know, is it worth it? Why are y'all even attempting to do storylines after, you know, the, the original series, after the events of the original series? It would have to be perfect. And I don't trust y'all to do that. I don't trust y'all to do that. So instead, y'all gonna have to keep going back in time. And let me tell you something. The reason y'all gonna have to go back in time is because the stories are complete. And even with House of the Dragon, the story is, is complete, but y'all are abused. Some, sometimes I think the showrunners are abusing the fact that, oh, we don't really know what's going on. We don't, girl, oh, it's written from different perspectives. Girl, keep, keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Because it's like, yes, girl, it's written from different perspectives and unreliable sources or whatever. But like, we could use common sense, honey. Like, there's certain things we might not know for, for sure, for real, but we could use common sense with other things. Like, please don't abuse yourself. So, so my point is that y'all gonna have to go back in time. Because at this point, we're so far, we, we done lost the plot so bad that it it would just have to be extreme fan service for me at this point. It would have to be Daenerys just getting her lick back. Like, that's it. And then end the movie. It would have to be Daenerys getting her lick back. Like, literally an undead Daenerys bringing just chaos, death, destruction, fire, and blood to all of Westeros. Just, and then maybe building a kingdom or some, building something or ruling somewhere in Essos. Like, destroying Westeros and going back. Just like how the Doom destroyed Essos. Um, and we're going to get to that in a second. Um, just have Daenerys completely wreck Westeros. And wa and just, I, I want to have a big bucket of popcorn while I watch it happen. And that's it. And I know that sounds crazy and one-sided, but like, that's what it would have to be in order for me to be entertained. I'm, I'm so, y'all messed it up so bad. Y'all messed it up so bad. So that's what I'm saying. It's not going to make sense to me um, far, far in the future. I mean, especially if there's less dra dragons, no magic, whatever. It's not going to make sense. What y'all need to do is go find the Valyria. Oh, Valyria. Make a movie about the doom. Okay. And then what y'all money hungry selves will do, should do, is use that movie then to get us prepped for the Aegon the Conqueror TV series. So I, I think that would be a perfect idea. If y'all don't want to do a doom like um, series, which I think that we would, it, that would be really cool to see like a, entire like valeria doom of valeria series or even if y'all want to do a trilogy whatever but like give us the doom in movies i think that would be spectacular to see in um the theaters it would be crazy to see the doom in theaters give us that and so it can hold us over while y'all do aegon's conquest while y'all um get aegon's conquest show ready for us like that's what it should be but i don't know it seems like it's in such early development that i mean are, is it going to come out after aegon's conquest you see what i'm saying like i don't know I don't know. This is very much preliminary, very much, you know, the, these are official sources or these sources, Hollywood Reporter, but they're just like, it's so early in development. We can't really say a whole lot about it yet. So yeah, I definitely want to hear what you guys think about this because I think that they're walking on shaky, shaky, shaky ground if they do, if they do a movie about events happening after the original series, like after Game of Thrones, like in, in like timeline wise, like I think they walk it on shaky ground, shaky, shaky ground. Because even when the ground has been written for you and it's on, it's sturdy, y'all go underneath it, Ryan Condo. Y'all go underneath all that and dig it up. So it's like y'all make it, it's shaky ground. So what y'all need to do, what I think they need to do is go back in time. Just keep going back in time, girl. It's fine. We gon' we ain't never gonna know what happened what happened to John Stone. That's fine. We gonna never go gonna, gonna see his life at the wall. We go, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep because y'all don't know what y'all doing. Go back in time. Stop playing with me. Let's let's see the Doom of Valyria and, and get ready for Aegon's Conquest. Let's go back in time. What y'all think? Y'all want a series after? Y'all want... Girl, I don't want... I want y'all... I want them showing me nothing if it ain't Daenerys getting up. Waking up. Waking up. Don't play with me. Let me know what y'all think. Thank y'all so much for watching. All right, y'all, make sure I'll that you're going later. to www.zeraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt. Uh, from my upcoming book so you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book the sequel is following up the first book that is already 
released called Zoraxia Wrath of the God King. Um, I released it a couple years ago, a few years ago. It was my, really, it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff. So just go easy on me. But either way, as you can see here, it's given 4.9 stars. It's given 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zoraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zoraxia, the Vengeance of Cold Wind, right? And go to Zoraxia.com, sign up, join the waitlist, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.